Big welcome to Deb Noller, CEO of Switch Automation. Great to have you here, Deb. Thanks. I wanted to start off just by talking quickly about the history of Switch Automation. In particular, I'm interested about how you went from a hardware-based company to a cloud-based company. So basically, we started doing high-end home automation. Then we, were, uh, we developed an IP intercom, which gave us entry into the multi-residential market, which also then opened up the Green Star. Um, market. So we were doing Green Star Apartments. And when you're doing 200 apartments one after the other, what you realise is you're doing a mini version of a rollout of a whole city. Mm. And what we found was it didn't scale. Mm. And so we, it was about the same time as our own business was starting to embrace huge amounts of cloud services. So we were doing project management and accounting and all that kind of stuff on the cloud. And one day we just made this throwaway comment, everyone's going to the cloud, why isn't Switch in the cloud? And our CTO, who's quite gifted, just took that little uh, thread away and did some tests and he came back and he said, you know, spot on, that works. And so we just basically made this really, it was a knee jerk decision, but because we're technology people, we knew technically it would work and, it, and, and gut feel it had the business model um, and we knew it was the right thing. And so citizens and, and businesses large and small, and also governments are very interested in, in the green energy uh, solutions. So you've got one of those. Um, and you got some support from government, I understand? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We've been incredibly well supported by government. Um, the Australian Tax Office gives us a research and development grant. Uh, we've got a $2 million Commercialisation Australia grant from um, the uh, federal uh, government. And the local New South Wales government has put us into a couple of programs, including um, the eight, uh, Australian Technology Showcase. So we feel well loved and well supported. And on the back of that, I understand you're now looking at international markets. Yes. Well, we have what we've recognised is we did a couple of shows in the US conferences in the in the US last year, and when you sit in a room with all of the Fortune 400 companies, and they all have. Uh, this problem, you recognise that the size of this opportunity is massive. Uh, you know, we've got platforms like SAP that do the front end of a business. So they do all of your accounting and inventory and purchasing and receiving. But on the back end of every business is all these operational costs. And of course, you know, the, the, there's no platforms that do that. And when you sit in a room, you recognise that the size of the opportunity, as big as it is, it won't go ignored. And so we decided to act very fast. So we've gone back to the US. This will be my third trip uh, next week. And we've already starting to engage with really large potential channel partners to take the platform into the US. And in terms of the markets you're addressing, understand you've also had some big portfolio opportunities We as have, well. yes. So if you are managing a whole portfolio globally, um, sometimes they don't even know how many buildings they own, let alone how much their spend is on energy or water across those portfolios. So, and to get that data, they're currently having to go to every single building or to the accounts payable. So they've got silos of people within their organisations yeah. that have this data. And then they've got the building, each building, which is a yeah. silo in itself, and then they've got the systems within the buildings. So we're able to aggregate all of that data, all of that useful information mm. back to the head office so that somebody's sitting there with a bird's I view across their entire operations who only has a limited budget on where they're going to spend their energy efficiency dollars this year can make a very quick and easy decision. And so it's not just new developments, it's also retrofitting Absolutely. that into the yep. portfolio yep. buildings Absolutely. including lower grade. If you go into the CBD of New York or, or Sydney and look around at all of the buildings and how many of those will be there in 50 years time? A lot of them. And so we have to have retrofit solutions. We also have to have solutions for the industrial buildings and the B and C yeah. commercial buildings because those, those buildings typically don't have any kind of building controls at all. So we're able to retrofit options into those buildings and the way we do that is we work with third party hardware. Yeah. So we cherry pick the best hardware out of the market and we, we help our integrators, our system integrators and electrical contractors and mechanical yeah. contractors to put together a solution where they can uh, yeah. deliver a really nice uh, and cost effective option for control and also for energy management into yeah. those buildings. Switch Automation, led by Deb Noller, is a business that's really understood its market exceptionally well and adapted its technology to the latest trends in order to deliver a unique solution. And you can see the international opportunity that comes off the back of that.